Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get some version of Linux to work with. There are a few different ways you can do this. You can actually download and install Linux onto your machine. You can set up a dual booting situation. Um, or you can do what we're going to do, which is using virtual machines. And we're going to use VM Player, which is a free product uh, from VMware. And to do that, what we're going to do is go to google.com and search for VMware Player Free. Make sure you search for free. Uh, you notice they have this VMware Player product here. And uh, if you click on this, this actually takes you to their VM Player Pro, and that's not what we want. We want this one right here, which says download VM Player 7.0, and it's, uh, you know, .com slash go slash download player. And this is the free one when it loads. Do, 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 do. It will load. Okay. So this is, in fact, the free one. Uh, you were going to down, you're probably going to download for a Windows 64-bit uh, system and then install it just like any other software. And now you have a uh, VM player that you can use that you can install really any operating system into. Um, so I'm just going to click on download. And it comes in pretty fast. And you go through the normal install process. I'm not going to take you through that. Once you have it installed, then what you're going to do is go back to Google and look for Kali Linux. This is the distribution of Linux that we're going to use in this class. I'll probably do a video later on all the on different distributions and what that means. Uh, Kali Linux is a common uh, Linux distribution for security uh, testing, and it has a lot of nice tools, but really. For the things that we're going to do in just this boot camp, you could use any distribution. Uh, this is the one that I like. And you go to the download page. And we're going to get Kali Linux 64-bit. Uh, and we'll just click on direct download of the ISO. And eventually, this will come in. OK, once you have Kali Linux downloaded, we're going to create our virtual machine. Uh, you start VM player, and you can see these are all the virtual machines I've created because I create a lot of them. We're going to click on create a new virtual machine, and we're going to choose, I will install the operating system later for our purposes. Uh, we're, here we will choose Linux, and for version, for version, they are probably not going to have the correct version. Let's go ahead and choose other Linux. 3.x kernel 64-bit and click next and for virtual machine name we're going to call this Kali Live because we're going to use the live CD. Uh, notice by default it puts it into virtual machines uh, under your username documents virtual machines but I could put that onto a thumb drive if I wanted it to be portable and if you're taking classes here at Long Beach City College, you do want to put it on a thumb drive. And just click Next. How much space do we want for it? Um, we're going to leave it at the default 8 gigs because we're not actually going to install anything. If we were going to actually install an operating system, we probably want to make it bigger. And uh, we're going to store it as a single... Uh, now nah, we'll split it up. Click Next. This kind of gives you... The breakdown, uh, I'm going to click on Customize Hardware here. And for memory, I'm going to up that to 1 gig. Um, we're going to leave it at one processor. We're going to use an ISO image. And I will browse to, this is the one that I want. Um, but I'm actually going to, yeah, so I'm going to select that one, click open, and click close, um, yeah, and click finish, and there's Kali Live, and now I click play virtual machine, 
and it's going to take a minute and boot up. And notice it gives me these choices here, right? The one at the bottom is an install. If I wanted to install Kali Linux, that's where I would go. But remember, we want to use a live CD so that we're all dealing with the same uh, setup every single time. So we're just going to choose Live AMD 64. And, it, you know, the way thing, these things work today, it doesn't affect our boot up. It's just as fast. And for everything that we're going to do in this class, this is great. Uh, but if you want to do a full install and use that, you should be able to do most of these activities that way as well. And this is all the boot information. Do, 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 do. Boo, 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 boo. And no, ha, ah, there it is. That uh, really awesome symbol for Kali. Uh, this is where we're going to be doing most of our work. Um, just to kind of show you around really quick, this is the terminal button up here at the top. Uh, that fires up the terminal where we can run commands like ls, um, who am I, and this is where in this course we're going to do most of our work. Uh, notice also they have up here this little uh, world symbol. If you click on that, it says starting Ice Weasel. Ice Weasel is a more open source version of Firefox. So that's it's a little confusing to people, but that's what Ice Weasel means. Um, so we do have a full browser here. I could go to google.com if I needed to look things up while I'm running it. Um, so yeah, this is the easiest way to get a version of Linux that you can play around with for the rest of this course. If you have any questions, shoot me an email.